Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're always right. And you may even destroy relationships in order to defend your possession. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 38, NASDAQ down 27, SP's off 8.5. Gold, gold contract down $23, traded at 2000 3.46 an ounce. We have silver down at buck 12, $29.65 an ounce. Copper down 12 pennies at 4.54 a pound. Light sweet crude off 82 cents, $73. 40 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. 10-year note up 14 ticks, trading 110 flat. 30-year up 31 ticks. 32 weeks equals one point, folks. 118, 19, and king dollar. King dollar right now trading down six ticks. 104, 133. Euro 108. Yen trading out here at a price point of 154 in the British pound. 127 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. Last Friday, high volume, low. My take, we're going to go after it. You can see the market's struggling, folks. And this is, you know, in particular, we have a time ratio here that you can go a lot lower. You have the high volume, low. So, number one, that high volume, low, to me, we're going to get tested. You know, we had the high volume low. Yeah, it was rebalancing. But the bottom line is that wherever the volume goes, that's where it ends up going. I remember when WorldCom, all these guys were, you know, going BK. They went down dramatically. The market was still up. Guess what? We went down dramatically. Bottom line, on the SPY, that's 518. Right now, you're at 527. We had done 90 million shares there yesterday. You have gone to a high, a higher high, 46 million. Today, you're at 23. We're only going to do like 33. You're not going to hit the high. Same thing in, in the Qs. We take a look at the Qs. Same setup with the Qs. What you have with the Qs out here, you're up 10 cents right now. We had hit on the Qs uh, 4.43. You're at 4.53. We had done volume of uh, 58, 50, 55 million. Yesterday you did 32. And today we're not even going to do 32. That's a market that wants lower price. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold's holding the bottom of its range right now. And, you know, they're killing some of these equities, but that's what they do with gold. You can see, okay, we've done 163,000 contracts. You're down 22 bucks, and we've done a lot more than this. We're coming into the bottom of consolidation. Bottom line, the bottom of consolidation, Ed, you know, the bottom of the consolidation is actually 2,308, and we've hit 2,335 thus far. We go to the GDX. Let's just take a look at the GDX. You're going to see some volume here, but you're going into volume also. So in the GDX, you get 23 million. Bottom line is that when you bring this here, let me put this on a weekly first. You put this up, and what you're going to see, bottom line, you're coming into huge volume. Man. On the weeklies, uh, even at 32.098, we had uh, 180 million shares traded. So that's going to be hard to break down. This is still building cause for higher price. The note and bond market, that's, that's basically higher prices, lower yield. That's where this is coming from. And, you know, it's got it going. It came down. It came down into strength, going up 2.1 million contracts, big contract volume, bottom line. This is ready to, to break the last swing high, which is the 110.09. Right now we're at 110. And that thing wants to go a lot higher. And then we go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. This dollar is going to get interesting here. The reason it's going to get so interesting is that it keeps popping in the higher range. Um, what it did out here today, however, is that we're only down 11 ticks. But this does look to me that we finally may get to lower price. Now, what is wild is that you're getting to lower price in the context of a market that still wants lower price. So we'll see where the whole thing goes. I got to show you this video, folks. So over the weekend, Bridget and I, we went out to uh, the Grand Tetons and um, Yellowstone. So check this out, man. This is, this is crazy. I, this is, you're going to see, this is, let me put this up. This is, uh, 
This is me jumping off at the Grand Tetons. Uh, rendezvous point is uh, 10,900 feet. So I'm paragliding. <laughs> Wait to see this. This, folks, if you ever get a chance to paraglide, do it, period. Don't, just, just, just do it. This day here was incredible. Um, the ride was incredible. It was like 20 minutes on the way down. You'll see, you jump right off the, the, the mountain. You just straight right out, and then you are in heaven. I mean, you're talking about just incredible type of ride. And it's like, you, you, can, you can do it longer than 20. This guy, this guy uh, did it 20 minutes. And you land, they, they, you know, these, these people know what they're doing. That's the real bottom line. Um, <laughs> you land, and it's, it's well, in my case, it was, it was really safe. Um, and the beauty of being up in the air, like, is, it's something I always want to do. I've, near, I've dreamed so many times in my sleep of flying. But this is, this is the real deal, man. <laughs> and you can see all the snow at the top of the mountains. It was actually snowing, what well, was, uh, Florian. We were up there, and people were still skiing. People were still skiing at the top part of the mountain. You had a, there's a tramway that takes you up. And, uh, you know, bottom line is that you can either, in the summer, which you can, you, you come down the tram again, or if you're skiing, you, you know, you ski halfway down, then you got to go back up and, you know, you'll see this you disappear for a second. Oh, okay, that's it. Anyway, it, trust me, do it if you can. Because it was unbelievable. Yes, and there's, there's no doubt. What I found, it, Peter from um, Park City saying that, uh, yeah, I love Jackson and the Tetons. What I actually found out is that, hi, Wyoming, how you doing, man? It, is that it seemed that the Grand Tetons are even b better than Yellowstone. We saw the guys, uh, we saw, you know, but the Grand Tetons, man, oh, my God. Just unbelievable, unbelievable. Dow. Dow's up uh, 68. NASDAQ is down 11. S&Ps are off three. Stay right there, folks. Got a man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming, coming right up.